Hey internet, may I introduce you to something called chemo brain, aka Sarah can't remember why she walked down the hall. Who needs memories? Let's forge into the uncertain future like a bunch of forgetful champions. Yeah, let's do it. That feeling when you make a pot of coffee but you forget the coffee grounds, so you only make a pot of hot water, which is really confusing for a few seconds because you need coffee to think. That feeling when you're excited for a trip, but before you know it, you'll be saying, wait, we just got here. Yep. That's me. Have such a good day. Hello world, welcome back to Have Such a Good Day, episode 173. In the show the that wants you to, to die a little inside as we do. Uh, just kidding. Um, <laughs> we're, we're actually in very good spirits today. We uh, are. We are. And, and we, we hope you're all feeling pretty good out there. We're banging out a few uh, holiday shows because this we are. year uh, Heather Faeva is going on a two-week trip. And so we want to bank a couple episodes, talk about some travel stories for you today on this themed episode, this holiday reaching the 2023 uh, threshold of a new year. It's well, I think by the time, time anyone hears us, it will be 2023. It will be. Um, and, uh, you know, it, uh, it'll be early. And I think that uh, as as we mentioned on episode 171, palindrome episode, by the way, um, <laughs> we were talking about, you know, like New Year's resolutions and the fact that Heather and I don't really like to put too much stock in that. But like, we kind of do care to the mm -hmm. point, you know, where we, we kind of talked about that. So... Maybe, well, we maybe you, better you've ourselves. all had a couple of weeks to think about that as well and might have some thoughts. And if you haven't given us feedback already, we would love to have it um, either uh, tor towards our email, hi at havesuchagoodday.com. Um, if you happen to be on our Discord, we can all have a, you know, just kick around the ideas um, and anywhere in between. Good. Yeah, let's let's do that. Let's chat it up. And um, yeah, Sarah, because I, I was thinking the other day on, I guess it was our palindrome episode 171, that we were talking about traveling and I'm barking on this yeah. big trip. Yeah. And I, I wanted to mention that Sarah here is quite the traveler. And I, I, I think about all the years that her and I would communicate as pen pals, if that's a thing anymore, while she was on the road in exotic places that I've never been. And I thought it would be fun because I'm, I am literally in the midst of packing right now and I'm I have to be very diligent on this trip because I've got you know my small roller I just I want to be nimble it sucks yep. when you're not nimble you just yep, you got to yep. do it it's and always, um, it, that that is the way like if you if you don't overpack when you get there you're like okay these are the outfits that I have if you exactly. overpack then when you get there you're like oh my god I have so many choices maybe I yeah, should buy more it's things too, it's I'm out of control like, exactly exactly and then you have no room to bring presents back which I already know I'm not going to have room but um but yeah the packing thing especially for two weeks I mean the last time I had to pack I mean the last many trips was like four or five days max but two weeks I'm like well I hope I can do laundry which I assume I can I'm staying in an Airbnb but there's no way I can bring 12 to 14 outfits i mean it's You'll like be I'm able be to do mixing laundry. and matching yeah In fact, exactly some of some of my favorite um travel experiences happened at various strange laundromats around oh, the really? world oh yeah mm -hmm, mm -hmm. so so yes so as heather alluded to um if you um if you're tuning in you know to the show and and don't know us very well we're both um we're we're pretty seasoned travelers and um, I, uh, not lately, but um, I used to be quite the backpacker. Mm. Love, you know, not like, you know, a backpacker and like I'm camping like under a the mountaineer stars. person. Yeah, you weren't. <laughs> yeah, that's that's a little different, although I like that too. But like, no, like I am going to wear my life on my back and mm. I'm going to traipse around through various, you know, uh, beautiful cities and uh, all the in between between cities around the world, and I I still would love to do that, um, but life has gotten in the way, and I'm also very tired. Mm -hmm. <laughs> when Things I was change. twenty, I had uh, you know I could just not sleep overnight and still have a good day the next day. Not possible anymore. But 
Um, but uh, yeah, so so the the backpacking uh, aspect of travel has not always been what I've done. I mean, I've done all sorts of other kinds of travel, but that I think would be what I would focus on today because mm. it's just the most free way to just be like, I, I'm just going to go wherever I want to go, mm -hmm. you know? And if I don't like where I am, I'm going to get on a bus or a train or a plane or a boat and <laughs> I'm just going to go somewhere else. Uh -huh. And I have everything on my back. So like, what's really, you know, like, what, what do we lose? Um, and that is truly the most fun way of life that I know. Um, mm -hmm. I, I, you know, that requires money. Even if you're backpacking, mm -hmm. you can't just like, I don't know, travel around the world, you know, 24 you seven train tickets or plane tickets. I mean, things do. Cost oh, money. yeah. I mean, it, it all, you know, plane tickets, you know, are obviously the most costly, but like, you can't just, you can be very frugal and mm -hmm. wow, boy, you know, you can get a hotel for a dollar a night type thing, mm -hmm. which I have more than a few times, <laughs> but, uh, but you know, but it's also, you know, it's meager accommodations and you kind of have to just lean into that mm -hmm. and also know that like, yeah, if you have to get on a plane, then, you know, we're, you know, we're getting back into like real money territory. Mm -hmm. And um, that said, I did spend uh, a year doing just this. Didn't work. Uh, quit my job. Uh, took off uh, with my husband at the time. And, <laughs> uh, and we had a very, very interesting, exciting, uh, fun-filled year, uh, which I would not take back for the world. Yeah. And I know that many of you either say, this does not appeal to me. And so, mm -hmm. you know, if it doesn't, it doesn't. Mm -hmm. You might say, this does appeal to me, but sounds impossible. Mm -hmm. Well, it isn't. Um, but at the same time, it will be expensive, you know, e even if you cut all the corners that you can, like it, it just, uh, it, you know, it, it adds up. And it also is really, uh, It'll wear you down. It'll mm -hmm. wear you down. Um, in fact, uh, we had a uh, a guest on Daily Tech News Show recently, Jen Briney, um, who uh, does a lot of, um, she's like very in tune with um, uh, uh, US congressional news. Mm -hmm. um, just the smartest person ever. But she also, with her husband, is like a full-time traveler, lives in mm -hmm. hotels. Lives wow. around the world, you yeah. know, gets internet access, does her podcasts, living the dream. Yeah. Um, that was not a option for me when I did this sort of, uh, you know, s uh, similar version of, of, of what her life is now. Uh -huh. You couldn't, like, there was, like, I didn't have, there were no smartphones. Like, mm -hmm you would have to go to an internet cafe somewhere if, if there yeah, even was one. I remember that. And like a Lonely Planet guidebook. You'd have like a paper. Yeah, like, like, a book. like physical books, like yeah. like pulling down your backpack. Like yeah, and maps. 30 pounds of books. I'd have like, lamin like laminated maps of like the cities I'd go to. I mean, those totally. are actually kind of cool to have even now, but I probably wouldn't because you've got Google Maps. I mean, why, why bother? Oh my gosh. I mean, the idea of doing a year of travel based on the tools that I have now, I'd be like, <laughs> wow, there'd be a lot of things not to complain about anymore. You know, just because. Yeah, no, tell me about it. And it's funny to think back to then, cause I was like, I'd think back to an older trip, like when I, I went to Turkey, for example, and mm -hmm. how did I plan that trip? Like what, cause I, I mean, that was, gosh, I mean, that was, I guess the internet had been, it was, it was around, but it wasn't, it wasn't something that I could just go and, I didn't, I don't think I mapped everything out on the internet at the time. Cause I was, I was in my early twenties, but I don't, I remember having a guidebook. I don't even know how I planned it. Like I got us bus tickets. I got us, you know, the inner European plane tickets. Sure. And sure. I yep, have no idea yep. how I did that. <laughs> yeah. I, um, I, you know, it was funny. I remember, and I mean, I, I, I always tell people, and you and I, Heather, talked about this on a recent show where it was like, I have to remind myself that like, if I have like a good book and I have mm -hmm. an entire day to myself, like to sit for seven hours and read a book is uh -huh. actually the point. 
rather than something that I should like feel like bad about because I'm not doing, yeah. you know, like, I don't know, digging a ditch somewhere, or, like otherwise like, <laughs> like more helpful to society. Like it's like, it's okay. Like that's the point, yeah. that's, that's the beauty of this. Uh -huh. But when I was on this particular trip, because you know, I, I was, I was out of the U S for a year. And, mm -hmm. you know, I was in a lot of different places where rules were different, food was different, culture was different, lots of things were different, so many logistics. You never really checked out, you know, because it was always like, where are we going to eat? Wait, yeah. what, what time's that bus leave? Uh, oh, mm -hmm. shit. Uh, now we got to take a boat. Is that boat How did you do it? Did you print everything out? Like, how did you actually well, like, organize all those logistics back then? Um, do you even remember? <laughs> I mean, it was a cornucopia of lots of things. I mean, there, yeah. there were, I, 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 I will not, um, I, there, there were, there were certain times on that trip where I was like, and this is how I die. Yeah, uh, I know, I know. I remember so, talking to you. It was so strange and I was so far away from everything and you went you to some exotic had to spots. just be like, well, let's just give it a shot, you know, and if we die, we die. Um, and you went were, to like there, you went to like so many exotic places in a row. Like you were so far east, you know. You were far away for a long time. You know, you you, you yeah. I, I'm yeah. impressed with the exotic places that you chose, but I think yeah, you I would imagine you felt homesick and far away. Yeah, I mean the homesickness. I mean that obviously comes into play because you know I love a lot of people that were you know back in at the time mostly California, but the U.S. in general. Um, but there were, there were definitely times where, like, I can remember a time where, uh, you know, I got into this boat and when I say boat, I mean like a very <laughs> strapped together canoe, but like it seemed to be floating, you know, it, it was floating, um, you know, and the guy who was, you know, who was going to row, row the canoe, you know, between where we were and the next place. Like he was gonna have to row the canoe for like a lot of space. Like, I mean, let's, I don't know how many knots, but like like 20 miles. Like it was gonna be like an all day thing. And here we go, you know, getting into this canoe with our luggage where there's uh -huh. like a laptop and you know, like <laughs> everything and that we own. And possibly a hole like, in the boat. <laughs> and like, and like, oh, oh, and, and if you say like, well, at least you were wearing life vests, uh, please, no, we were not. <laughs> um, so it's like, all right, if we all go down, I guess my only thing is, can I swim to shore? This is the mm -hmm. Mekong River for anybody who's familiar with the area of Southeast Asia, but like pretty big river, kind of probably can't swim from one side to the other if there's a current and mm -hmm. you know like certain things like that where I was like well let's just see if we die um and we didn't <sighs> um and it was always fun on the other side but you kind of have to let that go and and you do and throw you do. caution to the wind and that's the only way that you're gonna have fun it's exactly exactly kind of what I was talking about on the show the other day when I, I two days ago I had anxiety I was talking about my trepidation for my trip because I kept thinking you know you fast forward the movie and like what's gonna happen am I gonna you know am I gonna have delays whatnot um but, yeah but the last few days I've I think because things are more buttoned up now and I know where I'm going when everything's been booked everything's kind of like in play that I, I I feel like so excited now, but I was I don't feel that trepidation like I did a couple of days ago. But you do you have to let go, and and I think it gets harder and harder to let go when, like we we have taken a few years off ish. I mean, we haven't traveled as much as we usually do, and you kind of get out of practice. But once you land your feet on the ground when you get to this new place you won't have that trepidation because you're there and you're in the moment and it all fall away. You know, it's just that it's that lead up time. It's that unknown that we struggle with this so much. And you would think that we'd be better at it because change is just always going to happen. There's no way we can avoid it. So like, why can't we roll with the punches, <laughs> you know? Totally. Um, but you're totally yeah. right, especially on a trip that you did for a year to very exotic places where you're kind of uncomfortable, like it's hot you're dirty, you don't know, yeah, you, like you said, you don't know where you're having dinner, you really have to roll with the punches. I mean, that's sort of the, the best way to put it. Yeah. No, it's true. It's true. And 
I have, um, so this particular trip, you know, in, in reference, uh, ended in 2007. So, I mean, it's not like I've been like backpacking across the world since then. That was some time <laughs> ago, but, um, but lots of memories were made. Um, and you know, I feel like I, I was into it, you know, and I'm, I'm pretty good at it. Like if I'm like, all right, I'm going to be hungry and dirty. Mm -hmm. then I, I can do it. Um, yeah. I just, you know, you, you just gotta, you gotta lean in, you but, do. um, you gotta lean in. I'm, I'm not totally sure how much I would be able to do some of those things today. And it's funny because I'm like, well, but why? Cause I'm like, well, I'm tired and I, you yeah. know, I really appreciate a good pillow more than I used yeah. to like, Tell I used to it. like sleep on buses, like on the floor. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, eh, well, you know, whatever. It's better than nothing. You know, now I'm uh -huh. like, not really sure I'm going to do that. But like, maybe I would still, you know, never say never. Let's, you know, let's get you're... weird, everybody. Yeah, it's kind of like, you, it's like riding a bike. Like when you, yeah, you, when you think about it in the future and in this fantasy bubble that is your brain, you think of all that, because I do the same thing. This is hence the, the travel anxiety is like, oh, is the pillow going to be comfortable? Am I going to, you know, am I going to be... Um, you know, sitting at the airport for a long, are there going to be delays? Like all the things that could possibly happen that are uncomfortable. Um, you, you're, you're making yourself uncomfortable before you're, you're even leaving. But I think once yeah. you, once you're in it, you're in it. And even if there, those delays happen or you have an uncomfortable pillow, it's you adapt and you're just, this is just the reality. And I think we, we waste a lot of time. At least I do, uh, you know, trying to play these things out when you just you got to sink into the moment and i think maybe even reminding yourself i know that for me sometimes i have to do that you know you have these mantras that you tell yourself like if i'm in it and it's a tricky because tricky situations happen all the time whether you're traveling or not you got to solve a problem yeah. or whatever um you lose your your passport i mean whatever it might be hopefully that won't happen um but you don't know what's going to happen so you just again mm -hmm. You got to roll with the punches. And I think, I think you get used to it again. I think you could do it, Sarah. You may not do the exact kind of trip. You, you roughed it a bit, um, roughed it more than I would like to do these days. And I do think Trust me, when even you're younger, for me, you don't care. There were a couple of nights where I was like, this is a little much. Yeah. Girl. I mean, remember, I mean, I um, remember staying in hostels, you know, and just, I'm not going to stay in a hostel. Oh, I've stayed in anymore. many hostels aren't even the problem. No, this is something, something much deeper. Um, more, more like, oh, interesting. There's scorpions all over me and the toilet isn't a toilet. Turns out. <laughs> but, that is an adventure. That is an adventure. But, um, I, I will say, I, I will say, um, that my favorite uh, method of travel, always has been, always will be, is a train. Oh, I love too. trains. Trains just soothe me to sleep, or if mm -hmm. I'm awake, you know, being on a train, even if it's like, and for the next 12 hours, Sarah, you're on this seat, on this train. Yeah. I have yeah. a window, I could look outside, I am the happiest person ever. And you're moving forward, it's like the motion is like really, I mean, even I've right. been in some rinky-dink Right, and it's not, it's not traffic, trains. traffic, because it's a train. Yeah. I mean, it is and just, the feeling of being on just, the tracks. Ah, oh, it's, it, and the it clink, is. the clanking. Truly, the, it, <laughs> ASMR is never uh, more um, ASMR for me. Satisfying. Unless it's oh, no, a train. Oh no, it's so true. Yeah. yeah. No, I, so, I'm with you. Um, even the clunkier ones are fun. Like they're they're more uncomfortable. The bathrooms are grosser. Uh, but I remember being on some clunky ones. Uh, they were shorter trips, but they were kind of novel, also, kind of romantic. Oh, absolutely. There are many places in the world um, that have beautiful subway systems, and if you live there, of course, you would know all about it. Uh, if you've traveled there, of course, you would know all about it. But you don't necessarily get to me saying like, hey, Sarah, as a train person, boy, would you love the Buenos Aires subway system, which mm -hmm. is a very good subway system, by the way. And like, mm -hmm. I never even really thought about that before I got there. I was just like, I want to, you know, explore the city. What a cool city, which it is. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. They have a great underground. Like so much life happens in subway systems. 
Oh, I just, yeah. I, I, miss I, that, I could just be a mole person and live down there all the time. I would be so yeah, happy. Yeah, all the different sounds, like like the the metro in Fran in Paris sounds different than the tube in in London. And it like, does. Just seeing the the vibe is different. And like, and obviously, certain, the, like certain routes, you're just like, oh, okay, I see who's on this train right now, and like yeah, where they're probably the going. The people watching and, is incredible. Uh, unparalleled. And the musicians and oh god, I miss uh, that so much. It's, but it's I have just, to say it's wonderful we speak of these uh adventurous trips and the ones that you know you may be in an uncomfortable moment here and there in a rickety train and a place without a bat without a toilet um but it's funny because and when you look back on your memories of it you don't feel that pain or suffering of it that you did in the moment and that's what's so beautiful about our memories uh is well yeah because that <laughs> yeah and it's, well it's beautiful and also problematic right because yeah we forget the pain and we go back to things and we go that do we it think again won't give us pain <laughs> exactly we forget and the, and the thing is too though i feel i find that a lot of my most challenging trips are the ones i remember the most and the ones where mm -hmm. um they were um wonderful like they had a high level of beauty and excitement but they also were like challenging in one way or another but like yeah. they just are ingrained in me like a like a tattoo like I just I remember such vivid details from those trips um and I don't remember anything that makes me feel bad you know if I you know I, I remember one time this um I was being sort of um not stalked but there was some weird stuff going on in Paris when I lived there in 97, 98. And there were some weird people, you know, weird characters in the metro that, that kind of rub you wrong or, or kind of follow you through sure. the tunnels. I mean, it, as a whatever, woman, you have your spotty sense up at all times. Exactly. And I've had a, uh, I, I had a situation in Turkey. I won't get into the details, but it was, it was pretty sketchy. And we, I was young, I was naive. Um, and uh, I was a pretty good traveler as a young person, but I was still naive, especially going to an exotic place. And um, I, I, it's like that, that, in, that, I guess it's like that sense of adventure that I do seek out, even if it involves a little bit of like discomfort, you know, like mm. I don't remember mm -hmm. those easy trips to Hawaii uh, as much as I do these, my crazy trip to Japan where I was like, you know, trying to read street signs and shoot, you know, film and, and, and like, you know, sweating. Right. It's just in like, the heat like to the and... point where you're just like, I can't. I yeah, can't you, do you would this. go back to your hotel room and just f like plop down on the bed. I mean, you, you, like just the, the 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 fatigue, but like, but the day you had, you know, like the long, like mm -hmm. kind of challenging day, like made you a better person, and it made for a wonderful experience. You know, you know, this is this is actually, <laughs> I always meant to like write a blog post about this, but you know, <laughs> I mean, when is Sarah ever going to do that? But um one of the things that i i think is the most fascinating about travel especially if you if you're like hey i'm a person who wants to see new places mm -hmm. and i'm gonna you know i'm gonna seek them out and i'm either gonna like it or i'm not gonna like it but i'll come back with some anecdotes uh -huh. you know that yeah. that is how i feel like we should all be because yep. you're not gonna like every like you could like be like i had a fun trip you know in hawaii Mm -hmm. you know just to use an example of you know a place that people love going mm -hmm. and just say I and I want to do that next year and I want to do that the year after and yep. the year after that you know and like make some memories and like become sort of like this like fun place that I go to all the time love that mm -hmm. I'm a little different than that yeah totally. I you know I I I'm fine doing that, but I'm like, oh, but there's so many other places. Like, yeah, let's exactly. like, let's try like another place, you know, yeah, just to see, new. just mm -hmm. to see. And yep. the issue with that is that you might go and go, hmm, I really like it as much as I thought I would. But yep. I never take that as like a negative. No. In fact, I, I have been in quite a few, I mean, I guess I'm not even talking about cities. There are some mm -hmm. cities that I just was like, meh didn't did not like the vibe of the city um mm -hmm. but i wouldn't have known if i hadn't gone you know yep. and even like you know little sort of coastal towns or you know offshoots or whatever where i'm like eh, probably wouldn't come back yep but yep. there are so many places that i would be like oh my god i'd come back in a second 
um, you know? Yeah, like I, I was talking to some friends the other day and, and how I, I keep y y making choices on where you want to travel. Because I, I mentioned this in a recent show that, yeah, I just in a way, shouldn't I just go back to a comfy, easy place like Hawaii and just chill, put some flip flops on and call it a day and just just totally relax and sink in. But but it's not me either. And what I tend to do is I go to Europe in the middle of winter um, and go to a place like Madrid <laughs> and freeze my my balls off. And but but like but like it's it's there's an intensity level to that that I think I crave like subconsciously. Yeah, and like the sort of like, I'm gonna get something out of this and I'm gonna yeah. have good stories and like, yes. that's what makes it like spark like, I you agree. know, some neurons. I, that's exactly, and I feel like I do it subconsciously and I and I get mad at myself sometimes because I'm like, dude, you're going back to Spain in February? It's gonna be freezing, what were you thinking? And I'm like, I don't know, but I, I did it for a reason. I must have done it for a reason, right? Yeah. And I do it again and again and again. Well, you, you and I, Heather, we've got we've got some chip in our brain. We do, you know, because you know, I know enough people who are like, I don't know, Zara. <laughs> I don't want to go to a city I don't like, and I'm like, but you wouldn't know unless you go. You like, try isn't that it. like yeah. so much fun in the your brain? Yeah, yeah. A lot of people are very risk averse, and they don't like change. I mean, I have a lot of friends who. Yeah, they go to the same Hawaiian island every year. They golf. They do the same thing. And it's not, I'm not, I'm not there's like. There's nothing wrong with that. No. There's nothing wrong with that's that. A, that's actually that like, nice. man, if you can, if you can swing that, kudos. <laughs> no pun intended. You're doing pretty good in life. Trust me, there have been uh, years, uh, you know, cons uh, which include, you know, the current year where I'm like, eh, well, I'd love to just be like, whoa, let's throw caution to the wind and like take a train to nowhere. It's mm -hmm. like, oh, I can't do that right now. So, I mean, yeah. you know, there, you know, life gets in the way, money gets in the way, you know, the family, circumstance, work, all the things. Mm -hmm. we well, know that's that. why it's so funny because um, this particular trip I'm going on on Saturday, a friend of mine knew me so well that she just went ahead and booked the tickets. It, we talked about the time frame ish we talked about where we wanted to go mostly. Um, and and it was sort of like, oh shit, you booked it without like fully confirming. But it actually yeah. was was good because it, it pulled me out of that, like trying to control everything. Oh, I can't go on that day because of this is happening. There's always something happening. And yeah. by the way, our mutual friend Alta, you met Alta, right? She's yeah. kind of yeah, part yeah. of that crew. Um, of well, course. she's actually joining us in Oaxaca oh, for a few days. Cool. She, and it's funny because she did the same thing to me. She was like, I. She has a similar thing with her parents. She's running their their real estate, and she's she's got her hands full. And she's like, but I can't. I can't break away. I've got all these meetings, and and I'm like, girlfriend you're never gonna be able to break away. Cause that's how I feel all the time. I'm like, I can't leave for two weeks. That's crazy. I mean, you should see the things I have to set up to leave. Yeah. And, but it's You almost have to time. just be like, well, I can't, but I'm going to. And that's so exactly like- That's exactly what happened. We'll just and like she, deal with it on the other side. It was funny, yeah, because she, she basically, the next day she's like, I booked the week you guys are in Oaxaca, I'm coming down. And she's like, Heather, what you said is just put me over the edge. Cause it's so true. Oh, you're like a Confucius for your friends. Huh? <laughs> I am indeed. I am indeed. But I thought it was cool that she was so Heather spontaneous. Says, Take travel. Stop. <laughs> think. <laughs> it was something like that. <laughs> All my years training with Yoda. Yes, yeah. for sure. Um, well, uh, I don't know. As as we continue to talk about travel, I don't really have any travel on the horizon. I mean, obviously, I'm. You know, I've. I've had some health issues, which anybody who listens to the show knows all about, you know, so it's like, I'd love to do it, but I want to feel good before I do it. And, yeah. you know, it's going to take a little bit before that happens. Um, but when it does happen, tell you what. You're going to go nuts. I, well, so I have some, I have some thoughts. So, you know, you where do you I want train. to go, Sarah, you, on the other side? You know side. how I love trains. Uh -huh. I, you know, anytime... And uh, over the ground trains are great, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, the majority of Europe is, you know, where you can just like look out the window and it's so beautiful. Um, and that happens in other places too. Um, subterranean trains, even better. <laughs> but, um, but I think my, my, my next, my next uh, beyond 
is the U.S. of A. Ooh, I, I know, like I know. You didn't think I was like going to say that, did you? Or take a train across the country, like take an Amtrak or something. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah. cool. Which everybody says, like, uh, it's not that fun, you know, because like the U.S. just like doesn't do trains well. However, they have them, and oh, yeah. like you can like buy a sleeper bunk, yes, and like live on a train for a few days. You know, maybe like get off in Chicago for a couple days, hang out, get back yep. on the train, make it all the way to Boston. Why wouldn't you? That sounds I think so it's fun actually, to me. Y- you get to see the it. I we took an Amtrak from Chicago to Iowa this this uh, summer. You know, and it was more than a couple yeah. hours. It was a significant trip. And I mean, you well, these the would landscape. be more like three days. <laughs> yeah, of course, day. you would go on a longer one. Three, but, four day legs. But it yeah. was it was comfortable, and you've big windows. You've got those like kind of big trains, or I'm sorry, the segment where there's like a bar and like tables, and you can kind of sit there. And um, and what I liked about it was uh, just the 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 imprint on your brain, like looking out the window, because you know, in a plane, you don't get to see the ground. Like you, you're just there. Like you show yeah. up. You know you're there but you don't get to see what's along the way and that's what's so wonderful about trains is you get to see the landscape from point a to point b oh. in a way that you almost can't even see from a car and like it's i don't different. even really you know and people sort of go well i mean people who have done cross-country trips which i have not done in the u.s mm-hmm. i mean of all the travel i've done isn't that nuts that i never like just drove from california to the east coast somewhere i never have either. done it no and you know i'm like that we're doing ourselves a disservice uh gas prices could come down a little bit but um but otherwise i'm pretty into it but uh yeah like a lot of people are like yeah i mean you could go um from here to here and in fact one of my pool technicians um i won't you know tell his name because you know he has his own privacy but he um he has some family in chicago he lives here in you know mm-hmm. western sonoma county and he was like yeah i'm gonna you know just get on the train and go to um chicago you know i think this was for thanksgiving and i was like dang how long does that take and he's like I'm like three days and i'm like wow really <laughs> so, wow so fun <laughs> you know like you just you know bring some like you know toothpaste and make sure that you feel okay and bring some you know, toothpaste just kind of yeah, live on a train <laughs> i love it I, th- I think it would be really fun and you can like um yeah have dinner on the train and oh, uh i know best. i think it'd be fun i mean i would i would prefer personally to go i want to go back to europe and get on some of those trains again um but uh but yeah my my big plan for when in a few years, when I turn the big, uh, we will not talk about it. Uh, the, the 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 number that I will not name on the show. I want to yeah. do a big Europe thing. I want to do Italy, Sicily, um, you know, Southern France, and like rent a car. Actually, like I'd love to. Oh, rent I'm a car. there. You want to do a little do Provence action? Let, yeah. I mean, girl, girl, I have I have trips. All of them roads, <laughs> and I cannot wait to go back. What fun! Let's stay in just, some castles. Just like eating, like uh, eating bread and just throwing uh, it out the window, like a bunch of. Oh, savages. we're doing it! It's gonna happen. <laughs> I'm already starting to plan. I, I'm, I'm, I'm creating folders on my drive as we speak. Oh, that's Can't so wait. fun! Yeah, yeah. Well, well, listen, y'all. Um, this is a special episode about travel. Uh, we <laughs> hope you've learned something. Um, if, if for nothing else than to say. Whoa, I would not want to travel with those two girls. Um, but, uh, but uh, you know. We're a lot we, of fun, let me tell you. We, 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 have, we have described all sorts of travel from the very meager to, you know, the very decadent and everything in between. I think we both probably fit in, the, in between somewhere. But um, we love all y'all. Um, we're so glad to have you with us. Um, real quick, uh, just a reminder, if you're not a patron and you're interested in supporting the show, patreon.com slash have such a good day is where to find out more about that. But Heather, um, in conclusion, do you have any <laughs> travel tips for our friends? Um, yes, always bring, I always bring a handful <laughs> of Ziploc bags. Um, those always come in handy and... Um, rolling Indeed your clothes. Do. I don't do Those that all the time. Things will get wet. Yes, and um, th- my problem is shoes because I want to be nimble, but I also, you know, there's certain shoes for certain occasions, and I don't want to come up short. But I also don't want to be lugging around too many pairs of shoes. So no. I'm trying to keep it to three pairs. 
um, for a two-week trip, which I think is good. I mean, ugh, if I could squeeze in a fourth, maybe I will, uh, but they'd have to no. be small. Keep it three. Keep it's it three. Got to be three. Got to be yep. three. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So I'd say um, uh, I will let you know on the other side how well I packed, um, but I'm leaving in less than 48 hours, y'all, and Ooh, I'm getting so pretty pumped. I'm excited. I'm excited. It's going to be... It's me. Oh, and uh, one thing I want to mention that uh, I actually booked these. I have a friend up the road who just came back from Oaxaca and she had this tour guide and it's not like a traditional tour guide on a bus kind of thing with a bunch of people. This is like when you go to places like this to get access to some of these you know, markets or like artisan communities. Yes, Heather. I think you people know. are aware of, you know, the <laughs> curated tour guide experience. Yeah. Like we're, we're basically, we're just hiring this guy, you know, via like kind of WhatsApp. I've been like chatting it up with him and he has these specialized tours and some of them look really fun. We're going to go to like a mezcal kind of, you know, field of mezcal agave plants and there's going to be um, i'll tell you more about it when when i come back i'm going to keep some of this a secret but i've booked some pretty fun crazy things Sarah well Lane. you know what i'm going to live vicariously through i'll let you, you do that i'll let yes. you do that. yes <laughs> um and for anybody else who we may have sparked some ideas about travel you know in this here show and you want to you know give us some some you know notes on what you've learned from travel or where you want to go or where you've been or what you don't like even you know keep it coming we we always love yeah, feedback for sure hi at have such a good day.com is where to send that email please do early and often we love you guys so much guys and gals and until next Share time on the other side of this journey i will always be always and forever be heather Baba. she sh certainly will um you know and when she gets back from her trip probably still heather but <laughs> you know we'll see change <laughs> make some tweaks <laughs> until, but uh, i'll still be until mostly. then i will remain sarah have such a good day and very tired <laughs> <laughs> have such a good day ciao